Oh, this is Giselle Muñoz, and today I want to share with you how I overcome the fear of driving. Um, for me, it was a big deal because uh, I I was so petrified. Remember that I was so petrified in my bed, couldn't go to work because I couldn't drive. And why I didn't go to work because I I live in a farm, 45 kilometers away from the closest uh, train station. No public transportation in here, and I um, and to get to the city is one hour driving. So for that reason, I didn't go to work. And always in my life, I have been um, depending on somebody else drive me, pick me up, pay public transportation, and uh, I arrive at time. And I said, who will who will take me to work? I couldn't. I was in my bed, full of fear of driving and, and then I start to think about how I have to change that, how I can be able to drive. And also I was uh, wondering or asking myself to myself, wh why people can just get in the car and drive easily and why I cannot do that? Oh, uh, I'm from Chile and I'm living in Australia three years and I'm living in Australia three years and uh, I have friends, Australian friends, and they say, but how you cannot drive? So for me, it's like, I don't know, how can you drive? You know, it's, so it was a, was a really, really big challenge. So what I did, um, first I have to, uh, um, to manage my mind, to, to, to manage my inner voice, because always was creating, before I get in the car, I was creating, um, at the worst scenarios, uh, no, you, today you can crash. Today you you will cause a, a big, the biggest accident and stuff like that. So for that reason, it's like, ah, oh, the want to go to work, ah, oh, the want to drive. I was really, 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 really bad. And so I have to start to change that. And also my my colleague, I remember they they asked me, what is the worst could happen? And I said, the worst. I can kill myself and I can kill somebody else. No way, I won't do that. So that is a typical question about fear. So in my case, it has to be different. So I start, so I, I start to, to see like, how can I manage this fear? How can I, how can I overcome the fear? So first was to manage my mind, to manage the inner voice, how I was answering. So for example, I was driving in the highway and my mind was saying to me, you forgot to turn off the gas in the kitchen or the lights in some way or all of those stuff. So it's like, no, yes, I did, I did. So when a, a car changed lines, it's like, oh, why the car changed lines? You know, it's like, oh, what's up? But, and then I, how I change uh, my fear, because now I don't have any fear of driving, I overcome the fear of driving. After one month and a half, uh, uh, answering to my inner voice it was a really really tough moment in my life so well what I did was uh, I was when I was driving I said I, I love driving I have a skill for driving all the time I was uh, saying something and also I have music to relax my brain and that was the first thing the second thing is I said to myself all the cars are going the same way so the only moment you have to think is when a meteorite falls fall in the highway you are driving or an airplane landing in your highway you are driving. So now it's all of the cars are going the same way, all good. Allow the cars get in your line because they are, go they are doing their life. So there is no, uh, it's not about they are cutting you off, it's not about that. They are doing their life so they need to change lanes. So to go out and keep driving, you know? So all good. So I have to change that in my mindset as well. So, uh, and, and then what I did, so it's about, uh, yeah, change the inner voice or start to answer it. I was answering loud in the car. And then it's about allow, and there is not a, the only moment we have to think is when a meteorite is coming <laughs> to the earth. Yeah, it sounds funny, but sincerely I did that. And, what else? And yeah, and yeah, so <laughs> apologies about this because the fear of driving I got it one year ago. So I remember I did a video to, to my cousin in Chile because she has a fear. So a lot of people got, got um, how can I say this? A lot of people got a value from this video. So for that, I want to share it here. 
for English speaker because I don't know if, so, if you have the fear but if you have the fear please share this video uh, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook because I will I will share more videos about this topic please uh, if you have any question ask me I would love to help you so I hope you have an amazing day bye